coming back in the same way you came, but stop right in front of the restaurant. Just in stay the in age that of way. COVID, the phrase thinking outside of the box has become a sort of cliche. But it's how a local transportation company got into the business of food delivery. So a lot of the things that we do now, it has shifted from we used to be taking seniors and people with disabilities to go out and do their shopping. We're now turning it around to a degree and being able to bring some of that food to them. New Tracks, founded in 2011 as a collaborative project to streamline transporting adults with intellectual disabilities, was on the cusp of an expansion last March. We've got about 50 buses in the fleet that will be. And just as their need for drivers increased, Executive Director Mike Greenbaum says, things, as we all know, took a drastic turn. And Tuesday, March 17th, had to call all 50 of our drivers in our conference room and tell them that um, operations were ceasing as we know it. Following the onset of COVID and the uncertainty it meant for business, the new tracks team quickly got to work reaching out to their community partners, ultimately discovering there was a need for food distribution. Transportation coordinator Scott Olson came up with the idea of delivering restaurant meals to seniors while helping local businesses and bringing new tracks drivers back to work. Classes on and come on and load. Right, with grant money from the Greater White Bear Lake Community Foundation, Matamidi, and Badness Heights, new tracks also partnered with the district helping students and families in need. And the city of White Bear Lake dedicated $20,000 from the CARE Act Fund guaranteeing restaurants a profitable cut for each meal. And these are the two spare ones for your 62. Owner of Keys Cafe, Celine Carlson, says she agreed to be a part of the food delivery program from the start. And though she's mostly lost money throughout the pandemic, she's grateful to give back to a community which has given Keys so much support. I, I don't ever worry about what, what I'm going to eat but I know that there are people out there that really, really need help. And I'm just so grateful that this community, again, we, we have all of, of the right resources to do it. New Tracks works with 12 area restaurants and delivers about 700 meals Monday through Thursday. And Olson says the response from recipients has been personally gratifying. I'll walk in and they'll remember me and shouldn't have gotten the hugs, but some of them have given me hugs just, just because. And uh, you can see the tears in their eyes. Because much of group transport has screeched to a halt, New Tracks is at about 40 to 50% of their pre-COVID transportation schedule. But they anticipate future partnerships and see the food delivery component as long-term. Grateful for the support pre and post-COVID from the city of White Bear Lake and the ingenuity of staff how proud I am of our organization, our team, um, everyone here at New Tracks that has um, been so proactive in not just taking what's happening, but trying to be creative and being so flexible and allowing us to uh, kind of change course and serve our communities through these difficult times.